everyone, this is Alan from the Zenus Expeditionary Force with another how to make the best of your screenshots. Um, in this one, I am actually going to go into how to uh, get more of a field of view in demo record. Uh, so, about 10 months ago, I did a how to making the best of your screenshots and the different codes on. Um, uh, changing the field of view in game and how to start a demo record. Uh, if you don't know how to to start a demo record um, file for STO, I would go to our YouTube channel and look up our how to making the best of your screenshots. And at about at the about at the 10 minute 50 second mark is when I go into um, the actual command of um, how to start a demo record file, which I'll I'll put it up during this video anyway. Um, but let's get right into demo record. So um, this is also explained in that video, but we'll cover this section again. Um, so for all intents and purposes, I'm going to be doing a screenshot of my character in front of the Ryza Resort. And I created a file name called uh, Ryza1. If you want to look, look up where your demo files are, um, you go to um, where you have your uh, game installed and then you'd find the perfect world entertainment folder Star Trek online Star Trek online live and then you would go into demos and today as you can see here I created rise of one so um, that being said I would keep this window open because we're going to need the screenshot folder here in a few minutes um, so, with the demo file name, uh, on your launcher, you go up to the top right under Options, click Options, and then down at the bottom under Command Line, you would uh, type in uh, minus sign, demo play, and then hit the space bar, and then your file name, so for me it's Ryza1.demo. You need to have that file extension name at the end of the file. Uh, hit Save, and then Engage. And then from here, it will uh, load like you're going into the game. Uh, shouldn't take too long. And uh, this video might look a little different on YouTube. Um, my resolution right now is at 2560 by 1080. I got a fancy 29 inch ultra wide monitor. So um, hopefully things don't look too small. But uh, I know the majority of you will be running 1920 by 1080. But anyway, so here we go. So let the file load. Uh, first thing you want to do is either let the file run to completion. And once you hit the end of the file, you should see a pop-up like this come up. Hit the OK button. Then hit the pause button. And then the back button. And then play it again, just to let all the... Uh, all the graphics and stuff load up. Hit the pause button. Now, in Riser, for some reason, the camera starts underwater. Um, to get into the free look mode, you press the F2 button, hold down the right mouse button, and that'll let you look around. And then use your WASD keys to, uh, <coughs> sorry, move the camera around. So you can move around your character. You go way over here. Oh. Look at the people chilling on the beach. As you can see, they're kind of see-through, so I probably let the file play a little bit more. That way uh, they're not uh, transparent anymore. So I'm going to take a screenshot of my guy standing in front of the resort. So now... Uh, one thing I want to show you guys how to do is how to add a little bit of um, depth to your uh, to your photos as well. So, uh, first command that we're going to look at, uh, you're going to hit the um, the title key, which is the squiggly line key beside the number one, and that'll bring down a gray screen. And over here, you should see a uh, green cursor. Um, so, first command we're going to do is forward slash FOV for field of view, hit the space bar, and then uh, you can go 20, which will bring you in real close. 
or you can go uh, forward slash FOV spacebar 75 is the largest number which will take you way way out uh, me personally I like the up close shots so we got up close and then using the WASD line up your shot however it is you want so I'm gonna line it up here right here now uh, next thing you want to do uh, there is a way um, there's render scale which I also talked about in the other video uh, render scale brings a lot more I'm gonna say crispness to the uh, the your photo uh, but it is a resource hog it will bog down your system um, the highest I've gone is three so if um, what happens when you run it at three it, it takes your current resolution and multiplies it by three so if you're running 1920 by 1080 and you run render scale three it is going to make the resolution of the photo 5760 by 3240 or if you're running 2560 by 1080 it'll make the resolution at um, 7680 by 3240 um, but for this purpose is because I'm running uh, Audacity and I'm running Fraps. Um, we're going to leave it at render scale 1, but I will put up the command of how to change that, which is uh, forward slash render scale and then spacebar, and then you can put 3, 2. Um, if you have like a midline machine, uh, I would probably wouldn't go more than two maybe three uh, even I you know what even if you have a high-end machine I wouldn't go more than three uh, once you start going into six that's just it <laughs> gets really really choppy um, the other thing too to keep in mind is if you do decide to try and run a screenshot and render scale three and your screenshots are coming out black in the screenshot folder um, you might have to turn off your anti aliasing uh, so keep that in mind but we're gonna leave it at render scale 1 uh, we got a field of view of 20 and there's two ways that you can do a, a screenshot from here you can either hit the print screen button or um, in the same command console uh, forward slash screenshot if you just leave it at that it's gonna save the file as a TGA and it'll be about 95 megs. Uh, that's how big they've been coming out for me. Um, but for this one, you can do forward slash screenshot uh, underscore uh, da, 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 JPEG. So JPG, enter, there. So we've taken our screenshot. Uh, to exit out of this, you just hit the X. And yes, I am sure. So there, we're out of there. Now to find your screenshot, um, so same section, um, I can run through this again real quick with you. So C drive, program files, uh, Perfect World Entertainment, Star Trek Online, Star Trek Online, Live, uh, Playtest is Tribble if you have access to it. So Live, uh, Screenshots, and then scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see your uh, screenshots there. Now, um, if you don't, ha I, I'm going to show you a little extra thing just to add a little, um, little something to it. Um, if you don't have Photoshop um, readily available, um, I suggest GIMP. Uh, GIMP is awesome. Like uh, I've been using GIMP for about a year now for all of uh, our web page banners um, and all of the uh, all my screenshots uh, that I've posted up on like the Reddit forums and the STO forums. Um, so GIMP is awesome. I, I would highly suggest it. Um, but yeah, so let's open up GIMP. So you would find your screenshot, right click and edit with GIMP or you can drag and drop it into a blank can canvas, whatever. Uh, so the thing I like to do is add a little depth. Um, so what you want to do is um, there's the path tool. So you select that. Um, I would suggest zooming in on your guy so you can 
press and hold the control button and then uh, zoom in pushing upward on the um, the wheel on your mouse that way you can get nice and close to the edges and then just trace around uh, your subject to make things faster I have actually already gone ahead and traced around my guy before starting this which has gone away great alright so we're gonna do this quickly here so ideally you want to stay as close as you can to the edges uh, I'm rushing because what I already had traced out went away so bear with me here I'm really sorry I did not for the foresee this happening And one more. Uh, you don't have to connect them, but that's like if there's a gap, it's fine. It'll automatically complete it. Uh, so scroll back out. So once you're done tracing around the guy, you should see a path like this. Uh, over in the tool options, you want to go selection from path. So right now, everything that you do is going to happen inside of this path. So what you need to do next is go up to select and invert. So now whatever's going to happen is going to happen outside of what you have selected. Uh, now the thing that I like to do is I usually go to um, I go filters, blur, and I do a Gaussian blur. Um, and uh, you can leave it at 5. Um, if you're running running render scale 1, so just the native resolution, uh, I don't think you should go anything more than 10 on the horizontal and vertical. You can play around with it. Um, so that's with 10. If you think that's too much, you can go Control Z, Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur, 5. Uh, I am going to go with the 10. If you're running render scale um, 3, I would definitely knock this up to 20, uh, but if you're running native, anywhere between 5 and 10 is perfectly fine. I wouldn't go any more than 10. Actually, I don't even think I want to run 10. That's too much. Wow. It's been a while since I've edited a photo at native resolution, so we'll leave it at 5. Yeah. All right, and then you go to select none so that should be your uh, your end look and then uh, you can tweak the colors so you can go saturation turn up the saturation just a little bit and go colors and then play around with maybe the blues and the reds if you want um, then you can go to levels uh, increasing this way makes it lighter increasing it this way makes it darker um, because this is a kind of a sunny spot maybe increase it just slightly and then okay and then and again this is if you're using GIMP export as we'll put it in screenshots and I'll save it as beach export crank that up to a hundred and ta-da that's it um, if you guys have any questions feel free to um, uh, post them up in the comment section and I'll try and answer them as best I can um, but uh, go ahead and try this out I really like to see what you guys do uh, upload them to imager and post a comment with it and uh, I also want to thank everyone who has been uh, viewing our stuff and subscribing to our YouTube channel lately um, I, I see uh, there's been a lot of uh, people who have liked the last video that we did with the Iconian War uh, introducing it into our fleet and our trailer for that so I want to thank everyone for your support and uh, encouragement on that one that one was a lot a lot of work um, 
it pretty much took the entire month of May to do. Uh, but I was also working four on four off night shifts and trying to get ready for vacation and yeah that was that was uh, that was a lot of work but I'm glad uh, I'm glad everybody likes it and that is the um, that's why I do it it's I do it for the people and it's I also enjoy doing them myself as stressful as uh, it can be sometimes but uh, yeah. Uh, if there's another how-to video that you guys would like me to try and do, let me know. Um, I'm actually less than a week away from finishing vacation, so maybe I can try and pound it out there in, a, in the next couple of days, but I'll have to do it in between my four-on, four-off again. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure you do so you don't miss out on our awesome trailers. Uh, we are on Twitter as well, um, Z-E-F underscore S-T-O. And, um, yeah, that's it from me. Have a great day, guys. Bye.